Now I know, <laughs> maybe your mind was not like blown like mine was. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Khalifa, a.k.a. Callie. And this is XOXO Callie Official, where I empower you to live your very, very best life with perspective, power, and purpose. Today, we are talking about New Year's resolutions. Actually, actually, cut, cut, cut. We are talking about New Year systems. That's right. You heard right. Scratch the New Year's resolutions. You and I both know they don't work. We know it. We know it. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's f that's facts. Y'all know I'm from New York. Today, we're talking about how we can implement systems in our lives to affect our behavior and, you know, have a great 2021. Okay, because we don't have time. We don't have time. And so we got to do things differently this year. I'm gonna take you through what I mean by New Year systems. So at the start of 2020, I read a book, Atomic Habits. I, I don't know why I gotta be so dramatic, y'all. I just, I, it's just who I am. I love this book because it literally like kind of got me together a little bit. I was like, okay, James Clear. That's the author of the book. <laughs> I'm like, all right, James Clear, you better write. But I'm gonna share like a couple of nuggets that I got from this book and I'm so excited to share it because guess what? We are implementing systems and we're not even focusing on goals. That's right, you heard right. Throw the goals away. <laughs> All right, I'm OD and don't throw the goals away. But <laughs> we're gonna focus on the systems instead. Khalifa, Cali, why would I even do that? I'm so glad you asked. The reason why we're implementing systems and not goals is because number one, winners and losers have the same goals. Now I know, maybe your mind was not like blown like mine was, but winners and losers have the same goals, people. So that means, listen, there's something that distinguishes the person who wins as opposed to everybody else who was trying to win. No, I'm gonna challenge you that what differentiates the winner from everybody else who loses is the system that they implemented to get there. They both set out to win. All I do is win, 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 no matter. Okay. For example, when I was in first grade, I lost the spelling bee. It's actually a really hard moment. Actually, I came in like second. We're not even gonna talk about that. I missed the word hospital. I couldn't spell it. <laughs> I'm over that, kind of. I'm not seriously, in first grade, I wanted to win the spelling bee, but I barely practiced. Your process of getting to your goal is what matters. The process of who you are and the small, incremental atomic habits that you implement day after day after day after day are the ones that matter but my point is that the process to winning looks very different if you have a steady habit the process to winning is what distinguishes the winner from the losers <laughs> they're like that's the word no that'll preach pause i probably am gonna put that in the sermon thank you james clear point number two are y'all ready y'all ready for this one achieving a goal is only a momentary change now that might not be that profound for some of you but it is first of all once you achieve your goal run your marathon that's it you ran the marathon all right people like work out and once they get to the weight that they want to be they just stop working out because it's like why i'm here i have arrived i have arrived once you achieve your goal, that's it, you're done. But if you change the process, if you implement a system, you can work on achieving goals. You can achieve a state of being, which is gonna get you to the type of person you wanna be. A lot of us wanna be disciplined. So instead of just thinking about a momentary change, think about how can I implement a lifestyle that's gonna lead to changes, but it's gonna keep me going. Point number three, goals will restrict your happiness. And I'm the prime example. I am a fire starter. Like I will start something, okay? I will start on 10. Like literally, like I'm, I'm all the way up here. Like I'm gonna give you a run for your money with the way that I start. But the minute I get discouraged, I'm just kind of like, oh no, I didn't meet my goal. And so I'm gonna stop. And a lot of us go through that cycle of not meeting our goals and feeling disappointed in ourselves and just dropping the ball. When you set up a goal, 
you're in an either or predicament. Either you lose 20 pounds or you don't. Run five miles or you don't. Learn a new language or you don't. And once those goals aren't achieved, then you're just like sad and it just, it's very discouraging. Versus if you implement a system where those things happen, your systems transform who you are. Your systems transform your life. So even if you don't lose 20 pounds, you know that you're the kind of person that's a healthy person. You're the kind of person that can lose this weight. And so you can be happy in the present. You're not necessarily focusing on a number. You're focused on being the kind of person that implements a process to get there. I hope that made sense. Now that we've broken down the problem with goals, I'm not saying throw the baby out with the bathwater. I'm not saying throw out everything. Don't even write a goal. That's not what I'm saying. I obviously can't go into everything that I learned in the book. I just can't. It, it's just, I can't go through it. It's just, there was just so much wisdom. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe.